Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in this chapter we're going to be covering everything about the catalog system. And uh, congratulations for making it this far, because now we're finally going to jump in, start by creating our catalog, go through the organizational process, and then get to the develop module as well. So, and and from here on out in this Lightroom series, we're actually going to make the working files available to you on SR Lounge for download. So, what you guys want to do is you want to go to the, this article and you want to download all the working files. There's not going to be a catalog, but every one of the images that we're working on. Um, will be available and we're going to provide them in two formats. One will be a sh uh, shrunk JPEG version. Um, for those of you that may not have as quick of a download connection, you guys can download that one. Um, the other one will be the full raw files so you guys can actually work on the full raw files with us. Now the caveat to that is that if you guys are working on the JPEG one, some of the things that we're going to be doing with the raws won't translate as well to the JPEGs um, just because there's not enough information or not as much information there. So, But in general the same process works and also feel free to use your own images but if you guys want to follow this tutorial exactly then yeah the files are available and you guys can download them anytime. So, and a quick note, we do want to thank Linengers of Photography for providing these uh, photos. They are copyrighted by Linengers of Photography, so they uh, are not to be used. They shouldn't be used outside of uh, basically any educational purpose other than what's here on SR Lounge. Okay, so before we go and create our own catalog, um, I've already created this catalog here, but we're going to show you in the next tutorial how to do that. I wanted to talk to you guys about what the Lightroom catalog is exactly. Now, whenever you create a new catalog file, I'm going to right click here and go show folder location in Explorer. That way I can see what's in that folder. And here under this catalog, this is the actual Lightroom catalog file. And that catalog file doesn't contain anything but the information that's used to apply settings to these images. Um, for example, the you know keywording information, develop information, um, you know any cataloging information, that is what's stored in the Lightroom catalog file. So if I go back to my Explorer window here, if I were to delete this, I wouldn't actually be deleting anything but that information. I'm not actually deleting the images. Um, likewise, if I were to remove an images, image from this catalog, like if I click uh, delete photo, it gives me a couple options. It says, do I want to delete it from the disk or do I want to just remove it from the Lightroom catalog? If I click remove from Lightroom catalog, it's still in on the disk at whatever location it was at, um, but it's out. It's removed from the Lightroom catalog. Whereas if I click delete it from disk, it will actually delete it and put it into the recycle bin. Um, okay. So now that we know that Lightroom is basically just a database of information, I'm sorry, the catalog is just a database of information, um, I want to talk about a couple things just about Lightroom in general. One of my main issues with Lightroom is that you can actually only have one catalog open at a time. So if at any point in time I want to, say, open a different catalog, like let's say this test catalog, well, it's going to close down my previous catalog and then reopen with this test catalog. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my other one. Now it might give you a dialog box that says, you know, do you, would you like to back up or uh, or do you want to switch catalogs? I have mine defaulted so it doesn't ask me that question anymore. Um, but if that pops up, you don't need to necessarily back up every single time you're exiting Lightroom. Um, and you can just kind of click don't remind me again on that item. So one other thing to note is that these Lightroom catalog files are forward compatible. Um, or you could say Lightroom, the software itself, is backwards compatible. So basically what that means is if I create a Lightroom catalog file in Lightroom 2, well I can still open that file in Lightroom 3. But Lightroom 3 will tell you that it needs to upgrade the file to a Lightroom 3 file before you can continue. And it will actually create a new catalog file with Lightroom 3. So you'll actually have a Lightroom 2 catalog and a Lightroom 3 catalog. But any version of Lightroom is basically compatible with previous versions of your Lightroom catalogs. Okay, so if the images are not contained within the catalog file itself, when we open a catalog, what are we actually seeing here? Well, what we're seeing with each image is just a preview. When I go to my develop module, and I am, and I think we've touched on this a little bit before, but I want to go a little bit more in depth. If I'm applying some settings to this, now this is a JPEG file, um, but if I apply whatever exposure and some blacks change up the temperature a little bit if I go to this file let me make a little I'm gonna make a drastic change so you guys can actually see it so let me just make it significantly different even though I would never do this to an actual photo I want you guys to be able to see the difference here I've applied all these settings here now if I say once again I'm gonna go show me this image in the in the folder I'm gonna go back here 
Okay, show and explore. Okay, and this is called the image number 003. So if I go to our images and I go to 003, here's that same file. If I open this up in like Photoshop or if I just preview this file, because it's a, it's a JPEG so we can preview it, you'll notice that none of the changes that I made in Lightroom actually are carrying over to this original file. Um, and same with RAWs. If you were to do this to a RAW file and then open up in Lightroom, I'll, I'll give you a little demonstration. So let's go back here. Uh, we're going to fully open that. Okay. So if I do some, I'm just going to make, again, some major changes so you guys can actually see the difference. Um, okay, so this is 004. I'm going to go back to my folder right here. I'm going to double click on 004 to open it in Photoshop. Now it opens it in Photoshop RAW, and we notice that once again, these image, whoops, wrong window. There we go. Once again, it doesn't show the changes that I made in Lightroom because it's only showing me a preview of those changes. So, how do I actually see the changes? Well, these files need to be exported, and we're going to go over exporting. Um, later on. But just for now, know that the changes that we're making in Lightroom are all non-destructive preview changes. So anytime I can hit reset and it goes back to the original image, nothing is has been modified on it until we export. And you always still have your original even after you export, unless you're to somehow delete your original. Now there is one exception, which is the metadata. The information that I actually put into the metadata will actually be written into this actual raw file. So that's the one area where when you're making changes in Lightroom, it is actually going to store those changes into the metadata um, of the file rather than into the catalog itself. Okay. So the next thing is, is that the Lightroom files can actually vary in, depending on where wherever you import them from. Um, your catalog may be in a different location than your actual files. Now, this is a, a major organizational thing that I'm going to show you guys how we do it. Um, I typically want every one of my files to be in the same folder that my Lightroom catalog is in. So once again, if I go back to Show and Explorer, I have my catalog file right here. This is where our catalog information is. You can see there it's storing all the previews. And then back here I have all of my JPEG and RAW files that are used in this catalog. And if I go back one more um, step in this window, you can see this is the Lightroom tutorial catalog. So I've created a specific folder for this catalog. And I, I like to do it this way because it just keeps things organized. I make sure that the RAW files are within the same folder. So if I'm ever moving this folder, the Lightroom tutorial catalog, it's taking along with it the catalog file as well as the raw files. Okay, so let's go on to the next video. We're going to show you guys how to actually create a catalog.